so we got this brand new hero that just came out this is claren um does some kind of interesting things here deals damage water damage everything like that uh if you aren't already please make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, I really want to make sure that we get more of these uh, hero breakdowns done. So I'm going to go through everything with this hero. If you haven't already, check out the other hero breakdowns. And I have some more hero breakdowns I want to do. Uh, but for me to do that, I kind of need to get sponsors attached to this. So I got to give a major shout out to Raid Shadow Legends, who has sponsored this video. So getting into Claren, uh, as we see, it's got 762 on the attack, 768 on defense, and 1411 on the health uh stats wise pretty much just about average on everything nothing too crazy it does have a little bit higher health than normal here uh it is part of the legend summon so uh in the future it will get an additional bonus but right now there's nothing uh, it has two static abilities it has resist mana reduction character has an innate resistance against mana reduction and uh resists uh this character has innate resistance against uh ailments that block special skills so uh, anything that's going to reduce mana or anything that's going to prevent uh, special skills from going off, it has resistance to that. Uh, so uh, just the same as like Miki completely dodges uh, what happens with Alfreaky uh, and also Colvero coming up. Um, it's going to resist that completely. So that is a thing that I think people might miss uh, that might make it really good on the uh, the Rush Wars if you're going up against the Alfreaky. Uh, it's just a character that we'll be able to go ahead and miss that kind of situation. As far as the abilities goes, deals 240% damage to all enemies. And all enemies receive 205 water damage over five turns. The caster absorbs 25% health, uh, dealt water damage as health. And the elemental link, which gives 10% defense for four turns, can be dispelled. So as far as the ability goes, obviously it's slow speed. It's a little bit underwhelming at 240% damage. When you have characters uh, like uh, Master Leapus costume that deals 280% damage to all enemies, and that's at fast speed. So a significant difference there on the damage dealt. Now it does have the added extra thing of the uh, all enemies receiving the 205 water damage over five turns, which when you look at that, it's not a sizable amount. Uh, but the cool thing about it is that uh, he does heal 25% of the damage from the water. So uh, you got to figure um, over five turns, if you deal it to all enemies, you're going to be receiving about 205 uh, in health every single turn. And they're going to be taking that. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Obviously, if it hits everybody, you're going to be um, healing a decent amount. Um, and he does have some, some health to where he can kind of survive on different things. Um, just overall, the character, um, just as an overall, is kind of missing for a lot of different things. So his damage isn't that great. His speed is pretty bad. Um, the healing itself is, is a bit underwhelming comparatively. And even the elemental link is probably one of the worst elemental links that I've seen from characters that have the bonus. So. I'm not a big fan. I think it does a lot of different things kind of okay. And I wish it kind of would have honed in on one to like really give you an impact somewhere. Uh, so he is a sorcerer, uh, which kind of, again, kind of goes up against him. Uh, against the Titan, he's gonna get the C grade there. Uh, reason being is he literally just doesn't do anything against the Titans. The 240 damage at slow speed isn't that great. The water damage isn't really gonna help you out that much. Uh, and it, like I said, the elemental link even itself isn't that great. So uh, I'm not a big fan there. He's gonna get the C grade there. Uh, on offense, he is going to get a B grade. Uh, there are definitely characters that are a lot better than him. I would even probably choose a character even like Richard or like um, like uh, Thorn. Characters like that probably over him. Um, just even like the basic heroes are a bit better. And um, I'm just... I wish I could give him a bit more, but the fact is, is he's running at slow speed. Um, I would rather use somebody mentioned before in the chat, like a Sarnia, a Sarnia costume is even going to be better because you're still going to be getting the defensive down. So uh, a character that I think could work, but it's not the worst character, but it's it's pretty far up there. Uh, one of the things that does help him out is is he is going to be gaining the, the life back. 240% damage, it is still something. Uh, if you do limit break it and put some emblems on him, you might be able to deal more damage. As a tank, he is gonna get a B grade. 
Maybe this goes into a B plus just because the fact that he's going to be gaining health. But overall, it's not going to be end of the world. Um, you're probably not going to want to take three hits from him. But with him running at slow speed, you're probably going to lose to any tank at that point. Um, so any tank that's going off three times will probably kill you at just the same rate as him going off three times. So uh, especially at slow speed. Uh, so serviceable, I guess, if you really need to, but probably um, might be his best place. Uh, going on into the flank, he's going to get another B grade there. Uh, again, reason being is he is kind of uh, focused on dealing damage to all enemies. So you kind of want everybody alive, but there's just way better characters that are out there, uh, especially at slow speed. And then in the wing, he's going to get the B minus grade there. Uh, just being that he is a character that wants more enemies alive. And by that point, there's probably a couple dead enemies and him going off is probably not going to turn the tide for you um if they have a few that are already dead you're probably going to win that in general so uh okay i mean it's not the worst but it's still it's still pretty bad uh overall defensively he's going to get a b and might have maybe been a b minus but still 240 percent damage is still a, a decent amount so um yeah Going on into the weekly raids, he is going to get a B plus overall that might go into an A minus if you consider him fighting against Alfreaky tanks because he puts him in a position to where anything, any of the, the cubes that are thrown at him are just going to deal the uh, reduction in the life. So uh, it's not going to mess up his mana and it's not going to make it so he casts mindless attack. So he does get a little bit of a bump there. Um, obviously he's running at slow speed. He's dealing damage to all enemies. He's recovering life. So he's not a bad character. He's okay uh, on the rush tournaments. Uh, going into the weekly raid on buff tournaments, he's going to get a B grade that might even be a B minus. He doesn't really do too much. He does help out with the elemental link, which does give the 10% uh, increase against defense for four turns. So if you're stacking uh, blue, blue heroes, that's a way to uh, increase your defense if they're throwing defensive down on you. Uh, so it's a nice way to kind of negate that. Um, and then into the bloody battle, he is going to get a B plus grade. Uh, mostly because he just is solidified on just dealing damage, water damage. Uh, obviously, you lose a bit of the health, but um, still better than a lot of characters out that are in Bloody Battle. So overall, Big Boy Claren is going to get an overall grade of a B. Uh, could definitely have been possibly a B minus. Uh, just doesn't do a lot of really great things. He does a, a few different things that are pretty much average. Um, but overall, not a character I'm really excited to be leveling up. So if you did get him, uh, I'm potentially sorry. That is the situation uh, going on with um, <clears throat> with Claren. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about him. And guys, I do have to let you know that this is sponsored um, by my friends at Raid Shadow Legends. So I'm going to play some Raid Shadow Legends right now. And I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys come and hang out with me uh while i do that so give me a second here um uh so like i said this is sponsored by raid shadow legends guys if you really want to support the channel support the chat support everything uh i'd really appreciate it if you do check these guys out this is pretty much what kind of keeps me employed it keeps me making content on things um and it really really helps me out uh so this uh this game a lot of people have really really been enjoying it i want to get at least 10 new people to check this out uh and i mean this wholeheartedly it would mean more to me if you downloaded raid shadow legends uh from this link and um rather than do like a 50 dollars donation so you can also scan the qr code up the top left hand corner or you can also check the chat right now and you can just click on that you get a whole bunch of free uh free stuff just for downloading the game and uh checking it out uh let me go through the chat real quick and go through that let's go fight here let's go make sure that we fight the right one Let's go here. Um, uh, 
Uh, it'd be nice if they had chess on the impossible side. Yep. Uh, been waiting for this pull to him, but still unsure about Claren. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, Tony. What up, Echo? How are you doing, my brother? Did Anchor actually b behave himself on B day? I was actually good. Yeah, I was good. Uh, okay, ma uh, on all Master of None. Yep, pretty much. Richard's been a 370 for years. Uh, shape hand. Yeah, I, I actually like Richard. I don't mind him. There's actually a hole there on an EP thrower. Uh, how broken he is. Vex suggestion is increases speed. Way more water damage. Yeah, um, I agree. Yeah, he's uh, he's not very good at all. Uh, I think that they could fix him a bit, but at this point, I don't really see um, I don't really see him being really that great. Sometimes for to get to be nice about it. Is that a hero or just being kind? That's not a hero at the moment. Need a major buff if you ask me. Yeah. Um, there is some some utility. I think that a lot of times people get kind of um, 240% damage is still something and not to mention it does hit all enemies. Um, so if you factor in his um, if you factor in his water damage, you're probably close to probably like 250% damage to all enemies and you're also gaining some life back. So it's really not the absolute terrible ist uh it's still pretty bad uh but i still think i'm a firm believer that they're just about every single hero has utility minus sam and loki farming raid nice canuck we'll check out raid thank you so much echo yeah no that means really really so much to me uh you scan the qr code or you can click on the link that gives me major credit it's what keeps content going because let me tell you uh empires and puzzles themselves don't really care about really supporting their YouTubers in any way, shape or form. So uh, unfortunately, I got to focus on the Mystic Vision side of things, kind of like what what Empires and Puzzles does. They have, you know, ads that go through their game. Uh, it's kind of the same thing for me. You know, these are like the little ads that pop up and and they make revenue stream by you clicking on it and you get a little added, added bonus. But for me, it's like you're paying for you know my daughter to go to six flags like it's all going to me i'm just one little person and they're a mega giant company that has you know billions in revenue that that's being that's being brought in i don't know if it's billions probably billions at this point over the last five years they've probably made a billion um so yeah i'm just the little guy here so uh the sponsorships help me out and by you helping me you can check out check out a game you don't have to spend any money or anything like that check it out see if you like it uh, terribleus, uh, terribleus, what the heck is that? Terribleus, did I say terribleus? Yeah, terribleus. It's probably just a made up word. I like to make up words, clearly, as you can hear when I talk about different heroes. Editor, how's it going? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Yeah, this this uh, music session has definitely been super chill. <laughs> it's like way different than uh, than normally what I would listen to. What do you guys think? Is it better for like the uh, the chill music or like the more expressive stuff? I guess. I feel like I'm about to go. To sleep. You know what? This reminds me of like songs you have for like a baby to like put a baby to sleep so i'm about to like fall asleep like, oh. definitely said i love made up words oh yeah dude i make up words all the time i didn't even know if i said terribleist terribleist yeah i definitely did say it Shani, did I? Oh, that's what I also did. I remembered. Um, went to the to the Bible store too. I got her the Bible she's been wanting, and uh, got her a gift certificate so she could go and buy a whole bunch of uh, Bible stuff, which was really cool. I was like, "What did I get as a present?" Yeah, so that was like kind of like the gift. 
Uh, you grab raids from my link. Thanks for start. Thank you so much. I don't wanna. Thank you so much, man. That's man. That's so cool. I really, really, really appreciate that, guys. It gives you it gives you something else to try out and test out and stuff like that. And that's kind of like the um, that's kind of like the draw to it. And um, you know, some people really love the game. You know, like Canuck's been playing. Gosh, Canuck's probably been playing for like two years now. How long have you been playing Canuck? He's been playing for a while. There's a lot of people that that uh that play it or part of the group. I feel like I'm heading to an island. I feel like I'm on like a movie set in Hawaii and this is like the music they're playing during B-roll showing the island. It's about to be like a love scene. Oh, and it's funny because it's called Smoothie Shack too. I can see that. I kind of want a smoothie. Hmm. Smoothie sounds good. Yeah, I think I want a smoothie. Maybe I can convince my wife to make a smoothie. We have stuff for it too. Got a bunch of frozen mango. Got protein powder. Smoothie sounds good. Uh, I don't wanna, let me know what you think of the game after you play. You guys are really quiet today. I feel like I'm a, like a comedian on stage trying to find material. Yeah, the video on the bus, the islands in Hawaii. Good call. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. It's like driving through, driving through the island, looking at everything. Lucky Wednesday, this one's called. I feel like this is like, um, a scene for like a guy that just convinced like a woman to come back to his house on the first date. And he's like trying to put moves on her. He's like pouring a glass of wine. <laughs> uh, so one of the things that's really cool, check this out guys. So they have a guaranteed champion. Is that cool? Guaranteed. They do stuff like this all the time. So, Nekmo Thar on your 15th shard. Use 15 shards, you get a Nekthro shard. Um, doesn't reset the mercy system, so they also have a mercy system. So, just a way to get guaranteed characters. Uh, let's go look at him. He's part of the Lizard Men. Uh, index. Nekmosh Thar. Let's go look at his reviews. Oh, wow, dude. This character is insane. What? So this must be a brand new character. So one of the things I love about this game is it, it is, um, is it has the reviews. If you look over to the left, it says 131 reviews. Um, so you can't review a character unless you have him leveled and maxed out. So you can see or sorry, it's in your collection. I think you have to have it. So you have to actually own the character to be able to even read him, which is really cool. And everything is based out of five stars. So you can see this character is literally perfect, pretty much. And, excuse me. What up, Dan Miles, how are you doing? Uh, what do I think is the future of empires and puzzles? Um, Right now, they're in a very stagnant flow of content. I hope that they will fix it. Even the stuff that's in beta has been very stagnant. Um, I think that they are probably trying to figure out the best way to make the most amount of money. Um, I would say the game is unfortunately probably on the decline. I can almost guarantee it money-wise, uh, player-wise. Uh, I've seen it even just in my content-wise. Um, 
that unfortunately the game is on the decline so they need to really do something unique different fix the game up um and unfortunately i think they've missed a lot of the boat on a lot of different things so that's my future and it that's just my unedited and that honestly stinks for me as a content creator because the more people that watch my stuff the more money i make um so i want you guys to like and love empires and puzzles you know what i mean like i root for empires and puzzles all the time oh my gosh but if not you can go to the best adult dating site apparently Um, good mate, uh, enjoying the sun today. Last glimpse of 26 degree weather for a while. Is it going to get cold now? Great question. I appreciate 40% chance of 50% decrease attack. Wow. All right. That's pretty good. 30% decrease speed. Buffs. Wow. All right. So this character is pretty good. That's really cool. So they're giving away this character for free. Essentially, you do 15 pulls and you get him for free. That's really awesome chat. That's what I'm saying. That's one of the things that I love about raid is that they're always doing things differently to try and make things even better. Even right now, this is probably uh Rodos is one of the best characters in the game. Is an undead horde. Uh, let's go look at him real quick. Undead Hordes, Rotos, where are you at, Rotos? Uh, yeah, so 4.8, and you can see this has 6,809 reviews. So you can see this is out of five stars. He stinks on the Fire Den, Fire Knight's Castle, and Force Keep, but everything else, he's absolutely awesome. Rotos is great. And then this is one of the characters that there's increased chance of getting him. So yeah, so that's just it. Yeah, you love the game, but every day they abuse more and only see the money. Yep, they only see the money. It's been a while since they haven't seen the money, I would say. Uh, so another thing here too. So this is for Ice Drake Tundra skin, so you can actually get the skin. They've got different fragments and stuff like that for you to be able to get a different skin, which is kind of cool. Um, all right, so let's go. I just want to show you guys the arena, kind of some other stuff. Uh, you don't pay for pulls and AP having six months. The game is flooded with new heroes. No point. Yep, I'm definitely with you, Dan. They do two good things and they do 20 bad things. Uh, you are an influential person. You think you should say something in the form. Uh, I, Edder, I've said something uh, more times than I can even count. So um, even this last beta, I, I kind of made it known and stuff like that. So it's actually, Edder, it's one of the reasons why they pretty much refuse to kind of help the stream out in any capacity whatsoever. Um, so they, um, yeah, like, so when I play like sponsor games like this chat, I'm being, I'm being serious, you know, um, empires and puzzles is, is my main thing, but it's really what, um, it's really what kind of keeps things going because nothing there for many of them, which is fine. It is what it is uh so this is also like the tag team arena so this is really cool uh if we find somebody that actually so we're gonna go fight this guy so you build three different teams and then you go and fight them so this is pretty cool
No more money for empires. Totally uh, everybody's um, everybody's decision. Everybody's different. So Myth Wars is doing the same mistakes even more. They refuse to balance and nerf here is interesting. Yeah, no more. Yeah, I get it. I get it for you. Yep. I didn't know Myth Wars is doing the same thing. Oh, the wonderful sounds of Anchorman can do. He can sound just like a cow. He can say moo, moo, moo. What up, Patchy Moo? What up, Patchy? How are you doing, brother? The mooest of the moo moos. Okay. Uh, so that's kind of the arena there. I uh, showed you the dungeon. They got these faction wars, which these are pretty cool too. Uh, well, here's actually the dungeon. What's open right now? So this is, ooh, I'm almost done with this. I wonder if I can beat this. Let's try it. late to anchor yeah i did do the review yep you are late sir yep we already did it <laughs> all right so i'm not gonna be able to beat this fine so let's just go show you now it's a party it's officially a party so what's cool is they have like different keeps that are open at specific times so you get specific things that you want so picture it this way uh, if you really want to farm like uh, large bones or something like that, uh, like every, you can pick a day. It's like once, uh, like once a week, you have the situation where you can pretty much just get large bones. So it really helps out. Richard is better case closed. <laughs> Echo. It's funny. Went back and watched it. What's new with me? Uh, so we went to the movies, chilling, hanging out with you guys. Uh, nothing too crazy. Still working with the church, helping them out a lot. Um, it's been kind of a slow month this month in general. Um, I'm hoping like from a content creator standpoint, things are going to pick up. I got a couple of different opportunities I was talking about before and, um, some cool things on the horizon that I think you guys will be excited about. And honestly, I was, I was thinking today, I miss like grainy grading heroes. I just, I want to grade the heroes and make the hero breakdown videos at the same time. That's my goal. And, uh, and I want to pick up a sponsor that wants to take on the hero breakdown videos. I will move to another game, but everyone does the same. I will play free mode. Yeah. Well, Edder, we got some cool stuff coming up. I actually got, uh, an opportunity for a game that is pay to play. Uh, in the sense that um, that it pays you to play the game. So um, I think that's set to come out around the first of the year, but I'm gonna probably start um, initial signups and stuff like that coming up in the next couple of months. So you can actually play a game and earn money while playing it. So I think that's gonna be kind of the next big thing that, that happens in the gaming industry of uh, the ability to play a game and make money playing it. Is new game Zuba? No, it's not. Unfortunately, that's so funny, Patchy. Uh, this year, much shows they're not interested in balance, only overpowering event heroes to get players to chase and big spend big. Yep, pretty much. But we've known that. All right, guys, I'm gonna head out. Um, I'm hoping to be back here real soon. Um, 
I've been working on that. Like for me, it's like, it's been kind of not been working with content being so sp like so spaced out. So I hope that that will get fixed. Uh, but I really, really, really appreciate your guys' support. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. And like I said, if you could do me a huge favor, check out Raid Shadow Legends. It really, really helps me out a ton. And that's kind of what keeps all the content coming. So I plan on riding, riding the boat with you guys. So we'll be, um, be playing Empires and Puzzles and, uh, we're going to see where it goes. So just posted that in the, the chat there. Uh, any news on the second beta costumes? Not since the first round of beta costumes, but we're supposed to get what they just had in beta coming at the end of August, supposedly, the Covenant Heroes. So we'll see how that's going to get released. Uh, but no news on the second version of the costumes. And thanks, Vince. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks, uh, Unholy Warrior. I know you just popped in. Say hello to Oreo. I will. Thank you, Equo. Thanks. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you think of the game, Equo, when you check it out later. Gonna cook you some tuna steak. Oh, and chicken. That sounds good. Enjoy my smoothie. Thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab it. Thank you, guys. I really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna see you guys all very, very soon. You guys are amazing.